four states will be deciding on marijuana initiatives later on today, actually. Michigan, North Dakota, Missouri, and Utah. Our next guest says President Trump will eventually take this issue from the Democrats. Adrian Sedlin is with us. He's the CEO and founder of Candescent, the leading marijuana brand in California. All right, Adrian, you think President Trump wants to legalize recreational marijuana and he's going to move towards that in the next two years. What's your evidence for making that suggestion? Well, I would definitely say that heading into the 2020 election cycle that President Trump will look to make a push for medical marijuana as part of his platform. Simply the polling, if you look at the president, who is a shrewd politician, uh, irrespective of what you think of his personal politics, he is very shrewd. And if you look at the polling, 90% of Americans are in favor of medical use of ma marijuana. 60% are in favor of adult use. And you look at every major swing state, whether it's Michigan, Ohio, Florida, Pennsylvania, New Mexico, uh, the list goes on. They already all have some form of marijuana uh, policy. What you're talking about here is reclassifying marijuana from a class one drug along with heroin and cocaine and making it into a class two drug so that banks could finance the marijuana industry. If the president did that, it would be very good news for your business, wouldn't it? Uh, yes, some form of rescheduling, generally speaking, would be very positive for the industry, but we don't even have to have rescheduling because right now, for example, there's pending legislation, the, the uh, Safe Banking Act, the Small Business Tax Equ Equity Act, and the States Act are all somewhere in meandering through Congress. And with this election cycle, we may well see some of those come through and be voted on uh, prior to 2020, irrespective whether the Democrats or the Republicans take this election. Now, you think that the president will move it? So uh, this could be a bad thing for crypto. And the reason I would say that is that, you know, banking and dealing with banks has been a huge issue for the marijuana and some other industries. And if it does become legalized where you can go get uh, normal banking uh, options through uh, the banks, it might make crypto as a less attractive asset class to store your assets. Um, but personally, I'm okay with it because I do know that our government is a massive amount of debt and it has to pay it off some way. And if they're not going to cut spending, uh, they might as well cut out the black market and tax it. And Trump's a smart guy, so I think he's going to take advantage of it, even though he did appoint you know, the most anti-marijuana district attorney uh, the guy that looks like the Keebler elf, uh, Jeff Sessions. But let me know what you guys think about this, and I will talk to you soon.